In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite strategies that I use all of the time. And this strategy is based on MACD indicator, which has long been one of the most popular momentum indicators because it gives an extremely high wear weight. Now, enough with the chatter. Let's wait until the deal closed and proceed to the analysis. In this video, we will analyze the MACD indicator. To begin with, I will explain what a MACD is and, of course, how this indicator works. Then, we will analyze the components of MACD, such as histogram, MACD line, and, of course, signal line. Next, I will show you how to use the MACD indicator when trading, and you will see why this is one of my favorite indicators. And at the end, I will, of course, show you my own strategy that I have been using for several years now. And basically, this strategy includes MACD with other indicators in a pair. And at the very end of this video, we will hold a trading session on my strategy. So the MACD, or Moving Average Convergence Divergence, is a technical indicator. And it was developed like back in 1979 by this guy. He is a trader. And since then, it allows traders to determine the strength of the trend. But most importantly, it gives us extremely accurate signals signals to enter a trade. But of course, we're not just going to talk about it. Let's get to the platform and learn more about it. By the way, we have analyzed this and other indicators in great detail in my free course on binary options trading. So if after watching this video, you want to study some more information and learn more details, you can just simply text me on my Telegram, link to which I will leave in the description box down below. And there you will receive your full course of nine lessons completely for free. Now let's get started. Now let's figure it out how MACD works. And of course, to begin with, we need to open the broker's platform. I use Pocket Option and link to that one is going to be in the description down below. And let's get to work. So first of all, you need to open uh, the indicators and select MACD here. Then MACD appears at the bottom of the graph. It consists of three main elements. A green line is MACD. Uh, the red line is a signal line. And the last one is the histogram. Green and red lines or MACD lines and signal lines are differently configured uh, exponential moving averages and they give us the entry points into the market showing the direction of the trend at the moment. For example, in this case, we see the green line, MACD line, crosses the red line, signal line, from the bottom up, giving us a signal for buying and saying that the price will, will go up. The histogram in this case is a measurement of momentum in the market at the moment. The higher the histogram rises, the higher the momentum has risen at this moment. And it gives us an understanding what we can expect in the given period of time. Now, let's figure it out how to trade using MACD. Now that we know all the components of MACD, let's figure it out how to trade using it. So when the MACD line crosses the signal line from top to bottom, this intersection occurs above the zero line, basically above the center of the histogram. Uh, we understand that here we are expecting a downward trend and the price drop. This happens on this example, you can see it. At the same time, it's really important to look at the histogram. If it's constantly increasing, then there is an increase in momentum and we can enter a deal. And if the histogram is decreasing, therefore the momentum is decreasing, we can't enter a deal in this case. And the same rule goes for the increased deal. At this point, we see the intersection of green line of MACD and red line of signal from bottom up, 
for us this is a signal for an increase and it says basically that we can enter a deal for an increase again and don't forget to look at the histogram so at the same time it's really important uh, that we enter a deal only if there is a crossing under the zero line and of course uh, we all enter the deal on downward trend only if there is a crossing over the zero line so let's look at specific examples now let's look at the first example here you can see that the line uh, the red line signal line and the MACD line are getting closer to each other so that means that we should expect the intersection of them from the bottom up which gives us the understanding that we can go into a deal for an increase so you need to wait when they are going across each other and at that point you can open a deal for an increase so we open it for an increase for three minutes and you can see that the price is getting higher same thing goes for a decrease deal here you can see that the MACD line is getting closer to a signal line and we're expecting an intersection of them over the zero line so over the histogram you see this intersection between them and at this moment you can open a deal for a decrease and you can see that the price is going down now you know that MACD is really really easy to use trend and you can easily get the great signals to enter a deal but of course there is a but there is a gigantic problem with MACD let's look at the chart here so you can see right here that MACD gives us signals on a decrease right so there are four points like this one this one this one and this one as well we would get money from the last deal but all of this three first we would lose money why you would ask let's look at the perspective of the chart so here you can see that this is an upward trend up going trend so that means we cannot trade on a decrease logical right but MACD still gives you a signal that you can open a deal and decrease now you need to remember the main rule when you use MACD do not trade not according to the trend you need to use it with the way the trend is going if it's an upward trend you need to listen to MACD only uh, on a increase deals for example we have two places here but in case if the MACD gives us the signals on a decrease we need to skip them completely if you look at the chart and you see that the chart is still shows you the upward trend there is a thing to make it easier and the thing is you need to use additional indicators let's look at them as well in my strategy i use additional indicator and this is moving average right here moving average i change the period for 200 bars so this is the orange line on our chart basically if the chart is over this line that means that this is an upward trend and it gives us the ability to open deals on the increase but if it's, the chart is uh, under the orange line of ma that means that we are using the downward trend and we can open deals for a decrease logically now let's look closer to this chart specifically here we can see that the lines of signal and macd are almost crossing each other so you need to wait for that and here uh, when they cross each other from bottom to up basically sorry uh, and the price chart is below or under the moving average line that means that we can open a deal for a decrease and you see on this example that we got the deal in black and of course we can use the same strategy while trading on an increase so you see the same story MACD and signal line are getting closer but the chart is over the MA moving average line in this case that means that we can open a deal for an increase after the MACD and signal lines are going to cross each other so you wait for that 
and you can place your deal for three minutes as well and you can see that the deal is gonna close in black now let's get to a real trading and try to use our strategy here so we open the pocket option we choose indicators adding MACD and moving average move an average we change the settings from period for 200 save it and let's go so let's try to find the currency pair that we can use here where all of our confirmation are going to be just fine let's try to monitor this currency pair because even though the lines are um, higher than the zero line they are still getting closer together so let's wait for the crossing of those lines and if we see that we can open the deal for an increase okay so in this case we actually open a deal for five hundred dollars on the increase even though the MACD and signal lines they have not crossed yet, we can see that this candlestick actually already have crossed the, those lines before, so that's why we opened the deal a bit earlier, and let's wait for the results in three minutes. Okay, great. So you see here that the deal is closed in black, it's amazing. Let's try to find something new. Okay, so right here we can see that the MACD crossed the signal line going from the up to bottom. It's a bit late, but the chart is just getting to move an average line. So, I mean, we can open the deal just a bit earlier and let's try to oh, wait for three minutes okay that was interesting even though the price really dangerously started getting too close to our deal we closed it in black and to be honest, we can also open another one for a decrease because you can also see that the price is still going to go down. But let's not risk it. The risk it. Let's just try to find another currency pair. So right here, uh, it's a little bit late to open a deal. We could do that, but again it's going to be a bit risky and i don't see the point of doing that here because the cross line was like almost 10 candlesticks away so let's move on to another one and let's try to find it something new and something interesting because this indicator is actually quite easy to use and we can find better examples Hi. so we can choose this one and open the deal for a decrease because uh, I wasn't sure about that from the beginning but uh, again why not uh, because it was like five candlesticks ago the lines have crossed but the moving average is just being crossed uh, from the up to bottom i'm sorry and uh that's why we can open a deal for this one and be sure that it's going to be okay because the downward trend just started basically and as usual we wait for three minutes and the deal is going to be for five hundred dollars oh well so in this case unfortunately we lost money the deal is closed in red, which is a bit weird to be honest, but it happens. Again, things happen sometimes, but in general I was expecting that the price is going to go down and we have examples of that. We have the line of support here, but the price decided to change the direction, the volatility, it just decided to be bigger. Let's just move to another one. 
again here we can also open the deal for a decrease again but let's just move on to another example here why not so uh, this one I'm gonna open two deals fortunately there is like a bit of a delay between them but basically the MACD is crossing the signal line even though that we're just below the histogram there was the moment where they touched so here we're opening two deals to you know get the money back that we just lost same deal three minutes five hundred dollars but just two of them let's wait okay that was interesting so one of the deals is closed in black but the second one is zero we got the refund and to be honest uh, in this case i'm trying to make everything faster you know and not using like the, the typically everything by the strategy because i don't want this video to be two hours long but uh, in this case, it's a really good choice to open deal like in places like this where you can um, definitely see the crossing of lines and everything we, that we basically discussed in this video. In this case, I'm just trying to make it faster. So let's do last one and I'm not gonna be in a hurry. I'm try to I'll try to find something really good here. okay so it didn't take long let's open the deal here because here we can see that there is a really really good moment um the lines are crossing each other but we found this moment where it just just happened usually i wouldn't open the deal here at this moment but again i don't want this video to be too long and i'm risking a little bit uh, more than i usually do but again we see the line but it's like right on the zero line eh, let's just risk it uh for the last one but again the moving average is under the chart or the chart is over the moving average line so that gives us the opportunity to open the deal for an increase for three minutes five hundred dollars let's do this okay guys that was amazing the last deal is closed in black and i hope you now understand how to work with this strategy of course nothing is perfect this strategy has its flaws for example we have to wait for quite some time to find a great deal but even though we were quite in a hurry here we still got a lot of deals in a great place and i hope that was good for you and interesting of course so despite the rush we got extremely good result of the trading session today and of course if you have any questions about this whole strategy just type them in in the comment section down below and by the way if you want to get even better results with macd indicator you can combine this strategy with the treadline video that i have already done a week ago so you can click there in that corner and of course don't forget to subscribe to this channel like up this video if it was helpful and i will see you in the next one bye bye